Among the glistening new models from Europe, South Korea, the U.S., and Japan at this year's Detroit Auto Show is a new contender. The one we've all been waiting for, the GS7. For the first time ever, China's Guangzhou Automobile Group unveiled its new models at the Motor City's North American International Auto Show. And in the next year, it wants to become the first Chinese car maker to sell directly to American customers. What's more, internationalization has always been a very important target for GSC. We're not only planning to uh, export products into the North American market, but also we have already export products to markets like the uh, South Africa, Middle East, and, uh, um, and uh, some other countries in the world. Uh, that means that also the North, uh, the North American market is very important to us. It may be important, but China's entry into the U.S. market might well be imperiled if China responds in kind to U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's threats to impose tariffs on imported goods, launching a trade war. Well, he certainly has set a tone where he's saying America first and you know domestic production and jobs are his top priority. If you're a company like uh, GAC who's just starting to want to come to this country, this may not be the best news for you, it may not be the best time. But also remember that Trump doesn't want to cause major upheaval. One early sign of trouble, China last month fined General Motors, the largest foreign automaker in the Chinese market, $29 million for alleged monopolistic behavior. Multinational car makers are increasingly concerned that Chinese automakers will cut into their market share. But one place that does not seem to be happening is China. Ford recently entered the market, and this Buick Envision is entirely made in China and sells quite well there because there's one thing the Chinese can't manufacture, the prestige of owning a foreign car. China already has one foot on U.S. soil through Volvo. The Swiss automaker, owned by a Chinese parent company, would likely avoid any tariff trouble because it's building a U.S. plant in North Carolina. This is really the right decision we made, also for, from a political standpoint, and also to actually be in the U.S. and not in Mexico. For GAC to have the same success, it will have to do more than tempt potential buyers with cheaper vehicles. It will have to hope a trade war between China and Donald Trump can be avoided. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Detroit.